Hi, I'm Rachel, and you're listening to A Love Note. If you romanticize British teenagers, then you probably watch too many British teen comedies, like me. Either way, this story is for you. This is Use Me. Go back to primary school, you link-crusted chav. The schoolyard became as silent as a tomb waiting for a body to drop. What did you just call me? Tilda smirked. She had him right where she wanted him. Her two best mates, Tweedledee and Tweedledum, tittered at her side. The only fools brave enough to make a sound right now, confident that their fearless leader would protect them. You heard me. Unless your ears are broke, too. That got a round of oohs from their captive audience. Oliver stepped up to her Burberry toten arse. He towered at least 30 centimeters over her and outweighed her by a good 20 to 30 kilos in muscle alone. She had no business going up against him. He lowered his head so their noses were almost touching and held Tilda's dark green eyes. The twenty or so nosy wankers gathered around them, all held their breaths. Watch it, he whispered, barely moving his lips. She glared at him and put a hand on his sternum. He took a step back of his own accord, his gaze still locked with hers. Why don't you go back to primary school and learn some manners, Ollie? She took her hand off his chest and wiped it on her jumper before pointing at him, You bumped into me. The least you could do is learn to say sorry. He narrowed his eyes and observed her for a minute. His dark expression matched his dark clothing and gothic chains. Her eyes shifted to the fresh skull tattoo on his neck as he clenched his jaw. She met his stare again, then raised a finely plucked brow. A silent battle of wills passed between them before Oliver reluctantly gave in. I'll get right on that, Tildy. He walked away. The silence broke when he was halfway across the yard. A whole bunch of, oh my gods, and I can't believe she's still alive, followed him out. Tilda's friends patted her on the back and reaffirmed their devotion to her before they parted ways to head home. Fifteen minutes later, she rounded a corner three blocks away from Ashburn College and snuck behind a Nando's skip. Oliver crushed his fag under a boot and held out his hand. She rolled her eyes and pulled a stack of quid from her bag. He pocketed it without counting and gave her a surly look. You better tone it down next time. No one's going to believe I let you keep talking to me like that. His eyes slowly roamed up and down her figure, lingering on her trim waist and ample bosom. He smirked, unless we're shagging. She gasped. He walked away before she could recover. A faint, in your dreams, followed him around the corner. Thank you for listening to this love note. You can find the written version of this note through the link in the show notes at rrondon.com. That's the letter R, another R, then O-N-D-O-N dot com. Again, that's R-R-O-N-D-O-N dot com. And while you're there, you might as well sign up for the lovely newsletter and have love notes sent directly to your inbox once a month. Or don't. You can do whatever you want. I'll be here next week with a fresh love note just for you. Bye.